guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Today I wanted to share with you a quick and effective workout that I do when I want to work on my arms. I think sometimes us as women, we're afraid of working out our arms and then become like Arnold Schwarzenegger and be bulky and big and it's so not the case. In order for you to get to that level of muscle, you need to work with very, very heavy weights. And we're not doing that today. Today, we're just gonna focus in light weight and high repetition. I'm gonna use some ankle weights on my hands. This is just one pound. But if you don't have ankle weights in your house, I'm sure you have a can. Can of soup, can of vegetables, they weigh the same. So whatever it is, just grab your can or grab your weights and let's get to it. I'm going to wrap my ankle weights around my fingers instead of wrapping it around my, my wrist just because it's going to be heavier here, there's more resistance. Once you have both of them in place or both cans in your hands, let's get to it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to straight our arms to the side, palms are facing the floor and we're just going to lift an inch and down, little pulses here. Tiny, small movement, controlled movement. What I like about high repetition and slow movements is that it's not just following the motion of the movement, but really be mindful of where the movement is coming from and engaging all the muscles that are working. So every time I lift, I'm being aware of my back, my triceps, my biceps, my chest, my whole arm, and upper body is working. So a couple more here, we're gonna speed it up. So pulse, 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 pulse. Try to imagine you're really reaching for something on the other side of the room. Someone is pulling you from different directions. So you just pulse, 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 pulse. Couple more here, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it there and just bring your pinkies now towards the ceiling and just go up and down, up, down. We're working a different part of the arms now. And even though we're only moving our arms, your abs are engaged as well. And making sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. Don't let them come here. Just create space in your neck. Little more. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up and you're just gonna take it back, back, back. You're not even going as far as that way. You just take it one inch back, one inch forward. I know your shoulders are burning, but that's what we're going for. Shoulders are such an important muscle for women especially because that's what helps you whenever you're using a dress or a t-shirt, it's gonna give you that shape, like if you were a hanger almost. Uh, so it's gonna make your frame looks better. Press, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, almost done, up and down. Bring your palms up and down. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. Remember, when you're breathing, you're giving your body new energy and new oxygen to work with. So be mindful about your breathing throughout the whole workout. Inhale, exhale, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it there, palms up. Let's go to bicep curves, bicep. And here, the secret is not how heavy your cans are or how heavy your ankle weights are, but how much resisting are you adding to that workout? So I always like to imagine like you're posing for a picture, right? So you wanna show your muscles that the same thing you have to be doing every time you curl. Every time you curl, you just squeeze those biceps. Give me eight, seven, breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, abs engage, one, hold it here. Bring your pulse to the front of the room and you just reach and take it back. I'm just gonna move here down so you can see me. Up, down, up, down. Up, when you go up, make sure your shoulders are staying away from your ears. 
and again, when you come back, squeeze your back. Squeeze. Imagine you're really pulling something from the top of the room. Give me eight, seven, inhale, exhale. Five, four, three, resistance, two, one. Hold it here, we're just gonna close, open, close, open. Remember to keep your elbows at the same distance that your shoulder level. Inhale, exhale. Abs are engaged, you're not moving, but you're squeezing your whole body. This is four, three, we're gonna keep it close, two, hold it in the center, and just little reach up and down. One inch, up, down, up, down, up. I know it's burning, but that's what's gonna reshape your body. You want that, you want the burn. And I know sometimes it's like, oh, I just wanted to get it over with. I just want to leave it alone. But don't. You're stronger than that. Push through the pain. It's nothing. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down. So what we're going to do now is go to triceps. So from here, you're just going to lean forward your upper body and bring your elbows back and you're just gonna do tricep kicks. Kick, kick, and bend. Your abs are engaged once more. Yes, I'm gonna be this way so you can see me. Kick, give me eight, seven, abs engaged, six, squeeze those triceps. Four, three, two, last one, hold it up and just go in. So you go in, in, in and out, in and out. Just one inch, in, in, in. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it, hold it up. Just go up a little, up, 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 up. We're almost done here with the triceps. You got this. Give me eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Take it down. So once we finish the tricep, please remove your ankle weights or leave your cans on the side and we're just gonna finish with some planks and push-ups because it's a wonderful workout for the upper body. So I'm here with my mat and you're just gonna come to a high plank. You're just gonna hold it here for a few seconds. Breathe, inhale. High plank is like you're in one line. Imagine someone is pulling you from your ankles and then from your head. So you have two different energies happening in your body. Inhale and exhale. And from here, we're just gonna tap our shoulders, alternating arms. Tap, tap, just tap. You got this, you're stronger than you think. Inhale, exhale. Give me eight, seven, six. Are your abs engaged? Three, two, one. Hold the high plank. We're gonna do 10 tricep little pulses. So we go down and up. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Almost done. I need you now. I'm gonna move here so you can see me. So last one. Now I need you to come to your elbows. So do the plank on your elbows. Just hold it here, make sure you're aligned. And we're gonna tap, but instead of, instead of tapping our shoulders, we're gonna step ahead of us. So you just tap, tap, give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, you got this, one, knees down. I hope you like this workout and I hope that you felt the burn because I felt it for sure. My breath is like, 
This is a great workout that you can do two to three times a week. It's gonna help you tone your body and have long lean muscles. You don't need a lot of weight to change the shape of your arms. So I hope you find this video useful and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. And also comment below, like what did you thought about the workout? Did you like me working out in front of the camera so you can follow me giving you tips of the way I work out? Just let me know. It's always nice to read you in the comments. Thank you for being here. See you next week. This is a great workout that you can do two to three times a day. A day? No, not a day. Oh my God.